VR is beginning to transform the real world. It could also help boost your career and your love life in this world and new virtual realms. It all stems from VR's visceral feeling of presence, which is difficult to appreciate without trying it yourself. When I put the index on, my opinion changed immediately. Oh man, look at this! Games have driven leaps in realism and point to a wilder, more free and adventurous future for us all. But let's start with how VR can help us level up today. It creates the first accurate picture of how we react to any given situation and how to improve. Well, it's quite, um, you do feel quite intimidated without actually experiencing that in the real world. You're not going to know how you're going to deal with it. Everybody down on the ground! Oh, today's going to be different. Hi. God, this isn't you. You don't do this, man. Maybe I do. Millions suffer from social anxiety disorder with extreme forms of the worry we all feel about making mistakes and being judged. And after an hour of going through each and every detail of what happened, you decide he probably hates you. And then he calls. It's a call you will not answer and you'll try hard to avoid the guy because you really like him, which makes no sense. I guess I come off as uninterested or rude, but in reality I'm just too terrified to speak. Therapy often involves imagining situations, but it's easy to project negative outcomes. Ooh, that, that stinks, Rance. Yeah, that stinks. <laughs> Studies have shown VR to be a powerful tool and it's also used to beat specific phobias like public speaking, heights and bugs. VR tricks the brain, creating a very real sense of presence. Gradually increasing exposure to a stressful situation removes the fear factor. Uh, we did a trial with people with fear of heights and the average reduction in fear was down by two thirds. Any social situation that her uh, has an element of uh, difficulty, VR could be absolutely fantastic. They can go into situations they find challenging and attempt to do them in a different way. Oh, this is scary! He's just resting. Our bodies are also venturing into virtual worlds. Haptic suits are used in training for rescue services. And some games allow you to feel impacts on your head, front and back. How long until the sense of touch is extended to other regions? VR is also transforming the familiar, from the humble swing to fairground rides. Rides can keep evolving, changing location and intensity. And new robotic arms can bring any narrative to life. Perhaps we'll take control of the machine, leaving even digital rails behind and carving our own rides, looping around hot air balloons, diving from the tallest buildings, or entering alien battlegrounds. VR can also accelerate learning, improving retention, we can join astronauts on ISS missions and watch dinosaur exhibits come to life. In sports, VR brings us closer to the action and uncovering subtle details gets us closer to the players' minds. Will all this come with any side effects? Is this what recreational drugs feel like? What would it be like to live in VR? Jack Wilmot tried it for a week. I found it's very easy to find your tribe, to make friends, to, to communicate. It's no longer through a, a digital window, no longer through a screen or a phone, but actually being there with them. VR already offers an extraordinary range of experiences. At one point, battling a dragon, and at the next, experiencing a simulation.
simulation of blindness. Sitting in the park with the children, I hear the footsteps of people walking past me, a panorama of music and information. The next big step for VR is to scan our surroundings. Augmented reality, AR, will turn the real world into a fantasy playground with objects and people becoming part of the story. Pokemon Go has shown a glimpse of the potential, generating three billion dollars. Big tech firms are quietly hiring teams and filing patents, and the iPad Pro's LiDAR scanner hints at what's to come. You can turn your lounge into an escape room, train a dragon, or enjoy some ghost busting. When this technology is available in glasses, real world objects and people will take on new lives. In the race to deliver this new world of entertainment, the UK is punching above its weight. And some familiar faces are entering augmented reality through your existing phone. Wallace and Gromit will soon invite you to help crack cases on the streets. And dinosaurs and robots will be appearing in London. Science is colliding with creativity, opening the door to space, creating new forms of art and transforming live shows. The stage is set for a tech revolution like no other. And it could change the way we see ourselves and other people. Studies show that racism quickly recedes when people take on a body from a different race. Oh my God, you're Spencer's grandfather. It can also be a powerful, revealing experience. One simulation puts you in the shoes of a black boy, teen, and man. You first see yourself as a little boy in the mirror. Uh, you can wave, the, it's perfectly synchronous. So when you move your hand controllers, the avatar moves their hand in, mm -hmm. in sync with yours. And in that first scene, you're unfairly disciplined yeah. by a teacher for, for throwing the blocks, even though other kids are engaged in the same behavior. Mm -hmm. And this, it's important to note that this work was based on empirical evidence that we have around disciplinary practices in the classroom and how they differ for black boys. At age 15, you're preparing to go to a basketball game with your friend Jacob, who's white, and he's waiting for you at the door. Before you leave, your mother asks you to stop. She's watching the local news, and she realizes that the police are looking for someone who's wearing something very similar to you. You change your shirt, assure your mother that you'll be okay, and head out of the house. Jacob decides to run and catch the bus so that you're not late. As soon as you make the same choice to jaywalk, you're accosted by police officers who instruct you the user in the headset to get on your knees and put your hands up. This might seem extreme, but it's based on real data on stop and frisk practices in New York City. The simulation will help train leaders and police. Previous studies have shown that simply occupying a body in VR has a lasting effect. The reasons aren't yet clear, but researchers believe that identifying as part of the group automatically shifts our perspective on the biased information that we all subconsciously absorb. VR will also enable us to visit historic moments. We are recreating the 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, allowing visitors to experience that moment in history firsthand and to see for the first time ever in VR, Dr. King deliver the dream speech. New devices constantly create more realistic simulations and the sense of touch is being refined. How long until you question if that's air you're breathing? I took off the headset and noticed how our living room is not as beautiful as what's through the looking glass. Consoles arriving later this year may offer a gateway to immersive VR for millions. How will we fare in an increasingly mixed reality? VR will mean the freedom to explore other realms and our inner worlds. Ultimately, perhaps we will all have avatars, new lives without limits. Guy, this world, it's a video game. Who will you be? Who will you love? I'm not going to be the good guy. I'm going to be the great guy. <gasps> okay, well, enjoy your lifetime supply of virginity. And what might we learn about ourselves?
Oh my god. You're What the hell is this? It's your strengths and weaknesses. Smoldering intensity? It's a stupid face you make. Huh? Today's VR may be a taste of a distant future, where we migrate to digital worlds, more focused on discovery, creativity, and fun. So if I was to move back and forth, how's my motion now? A little more natural? Ow! What happened? I looked out the window and... And, and decapitated yourself?